Okay, really quickly, I have to make a part two for this video because it really, for this topic, I really didn't do justice to my DIY. I want to tell you when you're going out of, okay, my name is Monica. Uh, on this channel, I talk about life, okay? On Mondays, I talk about books and business. Tuesdays, do-it-yourself projects. Wednesdays, my hair journey. Stay tuned for that video tomorrow. Thursdays, music and poetry. Friday, fun fitness challenges. Saturday, spiritual food or fuel. And Sunday, my vegan journey. The last video, I was talking about doing it yourself and planning your own trip. People do use travel agencies and it saves if you don't have a lot of time and you have the money to do that, fine. But if you do want to do it yourself, there are a couple of resources that helped me. One of the ladies goes by Travel Like a Boss and she taught me how I could put layaway ticket playing tickets on layaway, how I can register with the U.S. Embassy, even how I can book two countries for the price of one if you are having a really long layover over a certain amount of hours you can ask for um, transit accommodations and they will put you away in a hotel i mean just just a really valuable um, information from this sister so i wanted to share with you first of all to look for uh, deals when you are traveling to other countries, I found a Groupon coupon or a coupon on Groupon for $250 for the Dominican Republic. My husband and I went and that's all we paid. It was like $246 actually and all the food and the drinks were included. So we had all we could eat and drink the whole time we were there. It was a five day, four night stay. It was just beautiful. And the third day we went to Ocean World. So I told a little bit about that. I have pictures of myself with different animals and I'm going to talk about that this week on my story time channel but the one thing uh so several things i want to talk about that you need to do before you travel you definitely need to have your tickets okay your your um, groupon coupon or whatever resort uh paid for you want to have your plane tickets already paid for if you do put them on railway you want to make sure if you're traveling internationally that you have your passport and if you have a passport you they require that the last two pages be blank and that it still be valid for six months after your trip so it, it needs not to expire until six months after your trip and you have to have at least two blank pages in your passport okay you also need to make sure that if you are going to be using debit cards or credit cards that you do card control you can use an app or you can just call your bank and let them know you will be traveling abroad because a lot of times it will do a fraud alert and it will look like someone is trying to fraud you and they will not allow you to spend money in these places with your cards so you get there and then you can't even pay for your room reservation or put a deposit if you need a deposit or anything like that or buy you know anything that you need if you don't do this another thing you need to do is make sure that you're going to have wi-fi service some phone services you have international or global coverage some you don't i had to call my cell phone service and say hey i need to add this on so for 10 extra dollars i added on the global service where i had so many minutes per the for the rest of the month to use globally but the first time i went out of the united states i went to jamaica and i did not have phone service and it was not a good thing so you want to make sure that you uh have global or international cellular service or that you add that before you leave another thing you want to make sure if your airport is a distance from the resort that you're going to or a place you're going to sometimes you have to have a second transportation you have to have a ride from the airport to where your resort is or where the location is you want to make sure you do that and pay for that and make sure you use a reputable company also, you want to contact the U.S. Embassy. This is something that you do per trip. You don't just do it one time. You register with the U.S. Embassy. You let them know your itinerary. So if you go somewhere to a country and something happens and you are an American citizen, you the, the, the U.S. Embassy knows that you are there and they can try to help you or alert you to whatever's going on and even try to help you vacate the country if need be. Okay? And then um, you want to pack lightly. Now, as I said in the previous video, you want to, if possible, 
check in online, okay? But if you have a checked bag, like if you have a big luggage bag, you're not gonna be able to not go through that long check-in line at the airport. But if you have what I, let me show you what I had. My husband bought this, this bag. It has to be 14, it's the 18 by 14 by eight, okay? This you can put over the top free. This is free, okay? This has one, two, three, four, inside five. It has like six or seven zipped compartments plus some on the inside, okay? You have to learn how to roll your clothing and pack lightly. But listen, this is considered a purse, okay? This was my purse. So I had the bag I just showed you. Well, my husband actually had that. I had a backpack and I had this purse, which you can carry on the plane and sit it under your seat. And then I had a fanny pack. This kept, but it wasn't waterproof. So I went on my a dune buggy ride and it got wet. But this kept me from having to search through a lot of stuff. And I was able to keep this on my person at all times. So I did not feel like, oh, somebody might steal stuff in our room. They might take my ID. They might take my passport. I was able to walk around with this. And But if I wanted to, I could put it in the safe in our room and feel secure also if I didn't want to put this on me. But those are the three things that I used. And like I said, it was a five day, four night stay. And I was able to have everything that I needed. I had about three pair of shoes. I had dresses, I had pants, I had underclothes, I had stuff for my hair, I had sunglasses, I had everything that I needed. So there's another lady that does a video on YouTube or has a video on YouTube and she teaches you how to really pack so that you are really packing um, everything you need. But uh, th there are these little bags that you can use. I forget what they're called. But this video is not gonna be too long. So one of the other things uh, you definitely want to have done is you want to have your activities planned and the money for those activities if you can in cash so that you're not going into debt save up for what you want and then buy it if at all possible so i had a list of the activities and how much they already cost before we got there and i had my envelopes and in my envelopes i had the money for that particular activity I had scheduled for us to do two activities a day, but it was best for us to just do one per day because you have to be up early and some of those activities are a day long activity like Ocean World. We went from one exhibit to another. We saw sharks, we saw, we saw dolphins, we saw, um, I think we missed the sea lion, but there were um, the bird exhibits. Um, the, the act, different activities and then we got to eat lunch and the food was just great. So one act, one excursion and we went to, to the beach and I had my hair braided. So that was all in that third day that we stayed there. So you want to make sure that you list the things that you need and have that checklist like your medication if you take medicine. And even if you don't, you want to have medication for seasickness or uh, nausea or if you get food poisoning and you want to make sure that you have things like mosquito spray. Some, you need to know that I tried to bring some honey back. I had to throw it away. I spent $10 on some honey. It had the honeycomb in it, and I had to end up throwing that away. But you need to know the things that you can take on a plane and the things you cannot. You cannot take batteries and things like that. So I hope that this video helped you. I have to get off of here for now. But... um. You need to know if you have to cancel, what is the timeline that you can get your money back, a full refund? And if not, for instance, with the plane tickets, you can cancel so many days ahead and get a full refund. And after that, so many days, they take off a certain amount per person. So if you have, if you have made a reservation for two airplane tickets for two people, the fee is going to be twice. It's going to be per person and not just one fee when they deduct amounts that if you have to cancel. So, and then you don't want to lose certain things when you go to these places. If you lose things like your towel card or your room card, it's going to cost you extra money, okay? So, I hope this video helped you to know that you can do it yourself and some of the things that you need to plan to have done before you go so that when you get there you can enjoy 
your trip. And by all means, when you are traveling internationally, you want to at least be to the airport at 